Delaware Valley's leading news program with Keith Russell, meteorologist Cecily Tynan, and Jim Gardner. And tonight at 11, I'll show you an important program that's helping wounded veterans to put the battlefield behind them. We've heard of the healing power dogs can have for people, but in this program run by the Red Cross, horses are the healing force. Every time I see him, he looks forward to seeing me. A riding and even just taking care of horses can help vets recover from both physical and emotional wounds. But the future of this program is in limbo. Tonight we'll explain what's happening and how you can help. It's on Action News tonight at 11. Okay. It's a great story there. Yes, it is. Thank you, Ali. Mm -hmm. In a special health check report tonight, horse therapy for wounded veterans. It is said that horses can help children and adults recover from both physical and emotional problems. Well, health reporter and registered nurse Ali Gorman joins us with a look at this program by the local Red Cross. That's right. And the local Red Cross just started the program this year, Jim. We talked to one veteran in the program who had never ridden a horse before, but now says he can't imagine his life without his horse. Major Terry Evans has been learning to ride horses for about a year and a half. He says he and his horse Grant have a special relationship. Come on, good boy. I think every, every time I see him, he looks forward to seeing me. And the feeling is mutual. Terry says Grant has helped him in ways he never thought possible. Terry served 20 years in the Army. In 2004, while in Iraq, he was injured by an IED. It was devastating, and I can just remember my head just throbbing, like, you know, just incessant pain. And it not only caused physical pain, but also severe emotional pain. Terry says upon returning to the States, he often felt anxious and nervous, and he started to isolate himself. All signs of post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. Use your leg and then tap him with the stick. That's where horse therapy comes in. Experts say horses feed off of emotions, so in order to control the large animals, riders have to be calm and self-assured. That's why riding and even just taking care of horses can help soldiers with PTSD regain their emotional strength. It also helps them establish a bond and break their isolation. Pet owners can really appreciate it because anyone who has a pet that they love knows how important that emotional bond and connection can be. Renee Hughes of the Southeastern Pennsylvania of the Red Cross says that's why they started the program here and they've seen the benefits. It's helped me to, to have more patience and reduce significantly my anxieties. Actually, it's helping me you know, trust more the folks that are around me. Okay. Right now, the program is funded by the Department of Defense, but that grant runs out at the end of the month. Hughes is hoping donations from people and businesses in the community will help keep horse therapy for veterans going. This is a small thing that we can do to have our young men and women know how much we care for them. Come on, Grant. Terry says he's discovered a lifelong friendship with Grant and wants to keep riding. I'll stay as long as they'll have me. Come on. And horse therapy can also help people with more severe physical problems, such as helping soldiers learning to balance and walk again. As we said, the funding for this program is running out soon. If you'd like to help or for more information, just go to the Health Check channel of 6abc.com. Thank you, Ellie. Sure. Interesting piece.